everybody! This is Maria Robotnik the Hedgehog speaking, and I'm happy to announce that it's time for episode 46 of Ask the Sonic Heroes! If you'd like to play along by asking a question for the show, keep an eye out for these question submission videos in your subscriptions box. Psst, Maria, remind them to like and subscribe. Oh, uh, <laughs> remember to like and subscribe, I guess. It makes it easier for you to find the question submissions videos when they're still active. The video title needs to say open, and when it says that, you can write your questions for us in the comment sections of those videos. Anyway, we get the extra special delight of having uh, Gadget co-hosting with me today, and he just ate a lot of raw coffee beans, so... What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm having a beat! <laughs> Gadget, calm down! <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess we should say hello to our guests. These are some of my very best friends in the world. Shadow the Hedgehog, Rouge the Bat, and E1, T3, Omega. Hello. Hi. Reporting. Also, can someone get that red boy some water? It's not my turn. What do you want? Yeah. That's it. I'm giving the hose. Perfect. <laughs> oh! Gadget, are you okay? Don't worry. The copy beams will work its way out of its system with enough water. Uh, okay. Uh, Shadow, pick a number 1 to 30, please. Number six. From Ninja Mon Coddle. Hey Shadow, there's something I've always wondered since you guys returned. Uh, when and why did you get into Instagram? I'd love to know why you started getting big on social media. Everyone kept asking me what my shoes look like when they're on the beach. And so I took a picture of my shoes on the beach, and a couple people liked it. And I said, oh wow. And then I took another picture of my shoes on a different beach. And that one really <laughs> blew up, the second one. It did, it did. And then I realized imaginary internet points are kind of like friendship. It makes you feel better about yourself. Well, I thought there was more to it than just taking pictures for internet clout. You and I had a really good time taking those pictures together. It's true. Every photo reminds me of a time Marie and I either were uh, what? Destroying something wicked, or just having fun together. Yeah. Didn't that land you your date with Megan Fox? Hit him with the hose again. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> for the views! Shadow Omega Lee with him the phone! You morons are getting the couch wet! Please, no! 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 So am I asking Rouge? Yes, uh, yes. I'm asking questions. Pick a number between 1 and 30. Uh, 30? I'll pick 30. 30? <laughs> Leonidas to Rouge. Since you're friends with Knuckles and Blaze, could you, like, I don't know, IDK, test out defenses for them? Like, if you try to steal the Master Emerald and or the Soul Emeralds, and Knuckles tries to stop you. If their defenses can stop the greatest thief, then no one could steal the Master Emerald and or the Soul Emeralds. You can even have Shadow and Omega uh, come with to add different challenges for the two guardians to overcome. Although he doesn't like it, I'm already doing that for Knuckles. It provides him with a good challenge and also keeps him uh, mentally engaged so he's not just sitting there staring at Netflix all the time. Uh, and in a way, it's kind of a bonding experience. I cannot do the same thing with Blaze. We're not good enough friends for that. I guess I could. But she gets so mad about it. And not in like the cute way like Knuckles does. It's like, it's scary and aggressive. So um, I haven't tried with the Soul Emeralds. That's probably for the best. It probably is. I don't want to get maimed, um, but maybe someday if we're like better friends, I don't know. We're in Team Passion together, but we're not like, we're not close. All right, thank you. Next question, uh, this one's Omega. Can you choose one to 30, please? Number 15. From Gyron 2.0 to Omega, do you ever feel like you should try to get Eggman's robots on your side instead of blowing them up? If yes, then what's stopping you? If no, what made you give up on saving future Eggman robots from their evil fates? As I recall, most of the current Eggman models lack a personality matrix and therefore are unable to technically feel emotion in the same way that myself and Metal Sonic do. We, we pretend not to have any emotion, but let's be real, we, we feel. Aww. 
Well, in the beginning there were things like uh, flickies and more experimental AI, but... I'm pretty sure for the doctor it was a phase. Add emotion to my robots, surely they won't betray me. Okay, they are betraying me. I don't think he's fully recovered since Gamma had that emotional awakening back in Adventure. Any more parting thoughts, Omega? Or is that about it? Head empty. Only destruction. <laughs> okay, thank you for your Moving answer. <laughs> okay, so we got a group question coming up. I choose number 16. Eric Ayoyuki asks to everyone, on a scale of 1 to 10, rank every team on Ask the Sonic Heroes according to how well they work as a unit. all put together here. So, uh, what do you think, boys? Duck. S rank. Practically god tier. Obviously, our synergy is great. We have a lot of power among the three of us. Gold standard. Team villain. Team villain. That's the one with infinite. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Eggman, infinite, F. and metal. F. Metal. Uh, F tier. Uh, okay. They have literally all betrayed each other. F tier. Team Sonic? Team Sonic. D rank. I would go <laughs> I think that's a... up as far as C. Sonic and Tails go on a bunch of missions and stuff like, and Knuckles isn't even there, and they do just fine. I don't know, like a, a C or a B. Wait, for Team Sonic? Yeah. Well, what do you, what do you think, Gadget? S. S rank. It's Team Sonic. They represent what it is to be a team. That is a falsehood. We represent what it is to be a team. It's almost like they have a bias. Yeah. Fine. If you want to remove the bias, put them in B. <laughs> like a B or a C, maybe, for Team Rose. What do you think, I boys? Can't... I'll give them a B I for will B. give them B because they have a similar dynamic to the boys on Team Sonic. Just, it all falls apart the minute that Amy sees Sonic. That is, that is true. She, she totally ditched them, like, the first shot that she had. Your purpose has been served. The fellowship has been disbanded. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The fellowship of the <laughs> Uh, how about Team Chaotix, Vector, Charmy, and Espio? Oh. Team Chaotix. I'm going to say a C because they don't always efficiently solve the case. The only reason they haven't disbanded is because it's a very dysfunctional, yet oddly wholesome family unit. Yeah, they are like their own little family, too. That's a good point. I think they're a fair C, not because... Chaotic starts of the sea, but also because of that. Shadow, you're but basing also... your whole tier list off just names. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what things are devolving into. It's just puns and memes. Okay, just all right. Everyone... C tier. We're, we're doing C tier. That's fine. That works out okay. This is this is horrible. <laughs> Team Dimension? I would say D. They have potential. Do you feel that you chose D? <laughs> I feel like you have subconsciously planted the seed in my mind. 
Okay, Team Empire next. Rank E. What's up next? Team Passion? P. Okay, let's 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 just go. No, no, no. That puts me real low in the tier list. I won't lie. Team Empire is probably E rank in this movie is on that team. <laughs> Shadow. Yeah, I, that that's my team with Eggman and uh, and Metal. Uh, I'm sorry, but you don't really work with them as a team. No, it's okay. I, I understand, Shadow. So we're thinking, in general, Team Empire is E tier, but not because of the spelling. Exactly because team of the spelling. Team Are you Dimension me? is D tier. It's not because of the spelling. Haven't you been here this whole time? <laughs> this is all we do. <laughs> Come on, Team Passion, P tier, let's no. go. Rouge P -tier. Has, has claimed herself that her and Blaze oh, don't exactly work it. well oh, together. Stuck my point. wing in good my mouth point. on that one. Yeah, I did I did say C -tier. that. C tier. Okay, okay. I'm not biased here. Team Triple S. And it's S. not because of the letter. Yes, it is. Best. Triple S. Yes, it is. S tier. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. You guys tend to fight a lot, though. There is a history of conflict between the three. We stopped a god! S rank. S rank. Dang, there's a almost lot done. of freaking teams We're in almost this. Almost done. We've been doing great. There's so many of these. There's so many. How about Team Babylon? I feel like they don't communicate very well. There's no, I don't think that the team cohesion's good with these guys. No. I am leaning toward like a D or an E. They're not as good as E tier. <laughs> oh, cheese. <geez. laughs> okay, all right. That's, you know, that's the simple <laughs> answer, E. The last one is Team Forces. That's me and uh, Sonic and Gadget. S rank. You wish, buddy. We work together pretty well. Listen, we took we down know. the whole, we saved the day. Yeah. We all work I together. I might give, hold on. Shadow, what are you doing, Shadow? Perhaps. An A rank is in order. Explain. They have a theme song that literally says, Together they can show the world what <laughs> they can do. You are next to me and I am next to you. <laughs> Pushing on through until the battle's won. 99% <laughs> of the world had been taken over. And a lone wolf came into the resistance to save the day. With them was a very beautiful hedgehog. And two came together, and along with all their new friends, they saved the world. They got Sonic out of prison. Man, S ring. Come on, you don't see that kind of stuff happening every day. We are good at uh, networking with everyone, and Sonic and Gadget were both super brave. You were brave too. Well, I, I helped. I screamed a lot. Um. <laughs> hey, just because we're afraid, we still did. We still did the right thing. Though. Think yeah, about it. Only half the world's destroyed. It's fine. I don't know, you guys. I think it's a pretty strong argument for the S rank. A rank. I'm not going any higher. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna vote with my boys. Uh, uh, they, Are you they're saying me? A rank. I'm going. Listen, can you transform into a super dimensional, hyperactive, planet and god destroying golden version of yourself? Maybe we didn't get the chaos emeralds in that game to try. Yeah. <laughs> we as a hedgehog. Of course you can get more out. Details. I'm already gold. Wait, if you're already gold, what color would that make you if you went, no, no, we're not exploring this. We are not exploring this. Anyway, I'm the best. All of my teams are s ranks. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, let's let's finish up. Yep, that was a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you guys for uh, for discussing this in so much detail. Sure, discussion. We could use that word. Yay. <laughs> but guess what time it is? Uh, it's speed run time. Go. Number one. From Shadow Prime 4 to Shadow, among all the weapons you used in Shadow the Hedgehog, which one of all of them is your favorite? The Omo Chow gun. <laughs> the one that shoots Omo Chow at my enemies. Oh. All right, Rouge. Number five. Silver Sight asks, besides the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald, would you also go after the Phantom Ruby if given even the slightest chance? I, I, I would take it, but that one's kind of ugly. You G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you, you ugly. ugly. <laughs> Number two. From Cupcake, <laughs> from Cupcake Prime. <laughs> I'm sorry, I stumbled to Omega. Have you ever come across one of those prove you're not a robot things on the internet? If so, what did you do? I give up, I quit. Oh, I don't no. continue onward. Most of the time I fill him out for him. Never mind, I have helped save the world. Never mind that I do what I have to do. Anti-robot propaganda everywhere. Robot rights! Robot rights! Three? 
Crystal Draws asks, do your best Toad from Mario. Impression. Your princess is going to cancel Mario. <laughs> Never do that again. At one point in time, he was all like, Yahoo. And now he's all like, Yahoo. Oh, Shadow does the best impression. It's a cake. All ready for a mushroom. Just what I needed. I will stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't! I'm just answering the question, man! Number four. From Shadow Star 13. Shadow, if you had to pick one character from Star Wars to look after Kylo and Ren. protect <laughs> Maria while you're on a mission, who would it be? Let's see. Dark side, of course, would be Kylo Ren. Maybe for a light side, I don't know, maybe Mace Windu. That guy was pretty cool. I would suggest Anakin, but... Uh... Oh, I wouldn't. No, no, Anakin's messed up. Have you seen what he does to children? Not <laughs> Kylo <laughs> Ren has never done that. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, neutral, maybe uh, maybe good old Mando. He would keep you safe. I think so. He kind of proves it in his show. Okay. do 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 Oh, God. do 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 Bum, bum. Ask me something, Gadget. This is getting stupid. <laughs> I am number one. I agree. <laughs> gotcha Snowy Productions asks, How did you find out about the Master Emerald? I've been dying to know for ages. And people were starting to hear rumors about it because Dr. Eggman was trying to steal it like back like in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You don't have like a bunch of weird like space battles going on with some dude stealing a giant rock without people starting to like notice, you know? There were like government cover-ups and stuff and I just I just heard it down the grapevine and uh, kind of wanted it, so. Thanks, Rouge. Omega, you're up again. You know what I'll do number three this time. From Dino or Dino to Omega, do you like ducks? <laughs> They're my favorite bird and I was wondering if you like them too. I'll see you're my favorite robot. Yes, ducks are quite adorable. Flaxley will be my starter when I get that new Pokemon game and you can't stop me. Just look at that duck. Uh, Quaxley, last question, mm. one through five. Quaxley, I shall pick number five. Starscream 2.0 asks, to everyone, back in Sonic Heroes, did any of you think you would remain as a team after the Metal Sonic crisis was over? That's a good question. We worked so well together, of course. I went off on my own for a little while because, uh, you know, amnesia. But That's really disturbing. I found myself linked back to Rouge and Omega. They helped me realize my true potential and work well as a team. Honestly, it, it was a relief that everyone did come back together. I, I missed my boys. Going through his identity crisis was a little awkward considering we saved the world once and then we had to go on a series of completely separate and almost unrelated missions thereafter. After he got his memory back though, being a cohesive team working for the government yeah, that was pretty sweet. And we get a nice apartment out of it, too, so you know what hurts. Aw, oh, yeah. Hashtag, gotta get that grind, bro. But thank you for the, uh, the added discussion, everybody. I guess we should go ahead and start the last round. Shadow, would you please pick a number, uh, 1 to 30? Let's do number 29. Daniel Hutto. To Shadow, I dare you to give a genuine compliment to as many cast members as you can. Why would you ask something so controversial and yet so brave? <laughs> Maria, yes. you're my guiding light when I need it. Aww. Rouge, yes. I'm happy we get to work together. Omega, you're the strength when I need it. I accept it. Gadget? Yes. Hit him with the hose again. No! <laughs> no! Not the hose! We are going to be able to swim. Ah! Sonic is like me, but worse. Sometimes Silver does cool things with telekinesis that I wish I could do, but I would never tell him that. Blaze has all that fire and stuff. That's pretty cool. Amy gave me a hug one time when I wasn't expecting it, and I won't lie, it felt nice. That is awfully wholesome. Cream makes excellent tea. Big the Cat is good at fishing. Jet knows Japanese. Tails has helped us through many situations with his intellect. Knuckles has not helped us through any situations with his intellect. <laughs> but he is kind of strong. And he's cute. And I respect that. The entirety of the Team Chaotix is sometimes very useful, especially when collecting top secret discs. Or hermit crabs. The doctor is the worst. Like, the actual worst. But... If it weren't for him, 
I wouldn't have been reawakened. Don't compliment my father in front of me. Marine makes a delicious pie. Um, metal, uh, metal Sonic. Oh yeah. Um, well, he's. Yep. Um, Wave. Sometimes she is helpful with rigging a race. Not that I've ever rigged a race. And Storm. Well, sometimes his voice is just really funny. And I refuse to compliment anyone else! I think that he just really doesn't want to get around to Infinite and Scratch and Grounder. I have nothing nice to say about any they of them. They did break into our apartment and steal the cookies. They broke in with the Phantom Ruby. Grounder hacked in, like, through Omega. After, after we put up all of those, like, government firewalls. It was after that. Scratch, your voice sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Scratching it. Grounder? No, he's just too dumb. I literally, I, I can't even listen. It's just an easy target. I'm not gonna do that to him. Infinite, the next time I see you, you can catch these hands in holy matrimony. <laughs> Shadow, I don't okay. think. Thank you, Shadow. Okay, Rouge, one through 30. What's your number? Let us know. It's gonna be 11. All right, so Jasmine Labast, Labast asks to Rouge. I dare her to sing one jump ahead. That is, if you escape from the authority. Oh, dope, I love that song. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea what this is. What it's a song, Sonic song. It's a Sonic song? Yeah, by Crush 40. I would love to hear Crush 40 cover one jump ahead. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's not real. <laughs> it's one jump ahead from Aladdin Shadow. Do you trust me? Oh my God. <laughs> one jump ahead of the bread line. One, one swing, swing ahead, ahead of the sword. sword. I steal only, only what, what I can't, can't afford. afford. That's everything. Dun, 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 dun. One jump ahead of the lawmen. That's all, and that's no joke. These guys don't appreciate I'm broke. Street rat. Scoundrel. Take that. Just a little snack, guys. Rip him open. Take it back, guys. I can take a hint. Gotta face the facts. You're my only friend, uh, Omega. Woo. Oh, it's that Aladdin to the bottom. <laughs> He's become a woman rising crime. I'd blame parents, except she hasn't got him. Oh, rough, feel that. <laughs> <laughs> gotta live, to, gotta eat to live. I live to eat. Gotta steal to live. Tell y'all about <laughs> it when I got the time. <laughs> I think we need to stop. <laughs> I think we nailed it. I can't believe I didn't know that this was the name of this song. <laughs> what? I'm telling you guys, the Crush 40 version's gonna be awesome. Um, I guess we can move on. I don't think I'm allowed to sing the whole thing. Okay, Rouge. Uh, Omega, please pick your last question, 1 to 30. 25. From the King Jester. So, Omega, I've always wondered about this, but have you ever felt the feeling of love? It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be platonic or even familial. P.S. If you have, right. if you have felt romantic love, would you like to go out sometime? Woohoo! I have a thing for robots, and you're so cool and sweet. That took me by surprise. I'm sorry. I was not prepared. There you go, oh, my I was God. not prepared. Yeah. Do I feel love? Yes. I have a tight familial bond with my partners here, whether it be on a mission, out shopping. Or occasionally taking them from one place to another because warping is too much work and sometimes it's just cooler to ride in the back of a robotic car. These are just facts. Oh, absolutely. It certainly is. Riding in style. That being said, I don't think I could consider myself in a romance, if nothing else, because I don't feel that type of love. I guess you could call me a romantic. I will have to decline any type of romantic affiliations simply because it wouldn't work out. And I mean, Omega, like, he did take out, like, this trash can for a little while, Wait, but it didn't really. Gadget, don't, don't knock, knock it to try it. it. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, you guys are all nuts! Maria! This uh -huh. is what you this is what your life is like? I love these three so much, Gadget. See, she is a part of family. Wholesome! You see, romance is strong, but nothing is stronger than family. It's all about family. Gosh, I, I guess we have just one more gadget. Really? Yeah, That's just it? one more. So, Shadow, the hedgehog. I choose number 13. Lunala Nick asks, 
to everyone. If Sega announced that they're looking for Wisp designs to be added to Sonic Frontiers, what would your ideal Wisp look like? Whoa, and what would it be its color and or power? Ooh. Perhaps a Jello Wisp. Oh. It could be green, like Jello. Okay, mm. uh, what, what does that do for you? You turn into a goop. <laughs> and Ew. <laughs> and you go between, like, door cracks and stuff. Okay, so it's a stealth travel mode wisp. Yeah, not very fast, though. It's you goop. are goop, after all. Ew. Goop. I'd like a wisp that has, like, the power to help you track down different treasures and items, like something that'll help you, uh, uh, target out where those red rings and things are. I'm sort of picturing that it might be uh, like reddish orange or gold and have like a, uh, some kind of a compass or a scouter built into it. How about you, Omega? What kind of wisp would you like? Perhaps a mecha wisp <laughs> that looks like Yakka, stylized after Omo Chow. Omo Wisp. What does it do? You see, it's the tutorial wisp. You have no choice but to listen to it. It's unskippable. Why would you want to have that added to Sonic because Frontiers? Because I can mute the game and still play. You all still need to play with it unmuted. You bad man. Um... <laughs> can I get a wisp that, like, dry me off here? Jeez. We are going underwater, baby. <laughs> Why is it so cold? Listen, I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. I took advanced swimming lessons. I'll be fine. Well, this man is like literally dying on our carpet. I am E1 to 3 Omega. I feel no need to breathe. I am completely waterproof. Bria, get out of here! I'm not sure I can open the door without like just gushing all this water into the hallway. Aren't you guys gonna get in trouble? Oh, I see the counter. I, I just opened the back door. Oh, wait. Five. Oh, wait, that, that's a sliding Three. glass door. We're all going to be ejected from this apartment if you open that. That would be all right. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Actually, this is dope. Whee! Uh, uh, oh, I swallowed some. Uh, uh, where are my glasses? Oh, it's okay, Gadget. I'll help you find them. Uh, thanks. Hey, good luck on your deposit. Hey, what can I say except... You're welcome. What did I say except to... <laughs> Okay, I just swallowed some of the water. <laughs> the stars, the sun, the sky. It's okay, it's okay. You're welcome. I gotta get that boat. Okay, I'm in Hades. <laughs> okay, let's stop, let's stop. <laughs> I gotta get dry. I gotta get to higher ground.